There you go, Bob. Hi everybody. We're here for another installment of the X over my equation. As you can see, I'm I'm doing Neverland. I swear I've done this particular take already, but obviously not, so here it is. Um, I feel I should just be further in the game. First off, I have run a bit more Peter Pan and Scarlet, but and the reason I don't really want to further the Aerith argument of her being alive is that people die at certain degrees. I mean, there's emotional deadness, emotional aliveness, there's just like there's all different kinds of emotions. It's kind of hard to explain considering I'm trying to make this kind of for kids. Um, but if you were in a Disney film, which, which presumably Kingdom Hearts is trying to be, um, if you were in a Disney film, you wouldn't die at quite the same level you die at being in an adult film. I mean, Disney film, they don't, a Disney film, they don't whip out the gun and blow the guy's brains out for exposing international secrets and dressing like a blue beetle. They don't show his, you, the bra your brains getting splattered all over the place. Um, In the first take of this, I pointed out how how little the Peter Pan cards actually help you. I mean, and they do to to a certain extent not help you, but I mean, Peter does help you, but to to the extent that most Disney characters can, I think. I mean. I don't know, it's hard to explain. I... I, like most people, think there should definitely be a Final Fantasy world. Like, they should explain what happened after Radiant Garden, that would be a fabulous idea. Um, I, I tend to agree with that, but they can't really explain what happened after Radiant Garden. I mean, 
Yeah. Because Radiant Garden kind of gets destroyed if you really look at it. Let's see, what else do I remember from the first take? Um... I, I have found... Why are Trigger and Nutsy considered... Why are Trigger and Nutsy featured in, in other forms of media, but... Why are the rights for Trigger and Nutsy, um... The two... Why are they so loosely guarded, whereas the whole Robin Hood that... The whole Robin Hood rights thing on Disney focuses primarily on if Robin Hood is real or not. Which, according to Dr. Hibbert from The Simpsons, recent, ev recent ev evidence indicates that Robin Hood may or may not have been real. May not have, may not have been real. Sorry. I, I was going to point that out and show you where I think but I, I very much do think that that would have been an underrated world I did develop that idea but you'll notice you'll notice I stopped after a certain point because well I stopped after a certain point because you can't really develop that world enough without going into how do I say this? Without going into any religious connotation. Being that Robin was a Christian you can't really develop that idea that well without so I don't think that world's ever gonna come into being either. Great idea. Fabulous idea. Um Pocahontas. That that was another one that got thrown in there. I definitely think that Pocahontas may be a great world and all that, but I mean for the first Kingdom Hearts, they had ideas to give Pocahontas maybe a summon. But if, if you can't even crack summon, how do you expect to make a whole world out of it? Just like, um... Just like Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck does have tons of adventures. Tons of adventures they could easily make into a world. Or like Neverland. Neverland should be expanded. But they're never they're never probably going to because Because Peter Pan and the Scarlet is kind of an underrated property right now, and not a lot of people have looked at it. Not a lot of people know about the newer characters they've introduced, like Corvallo. And, uh, and all that, um... Not a lot of people, I mean, I feel that things, I'm sad, sad to say, are leaning towards, more towards the public domain lately, and not that that's a good thing, because, you know, And 
I know there's supposed to be four books in that Peter Pan thing, but I, I went to the bookstore, I, I can't find... When the second book's supposed to be released, but the author that writes this, that, that series, the series of Peter Pan books now, um, generally takes her sweet time doing so. She said so in the back. In the back of the book, she takes her sweet, sweet time doing stuff. It's not, not going to be hurry. I mean, I, I tend to agree with people that I, I don't like what Disney has done to Peter Pan. But you cannot focus that much on death or... And still expect it to be a kid's thing, you know? You can't. You can't expect it to be oriented towards kids and focus that much on death. I mean, Aerith, they kind of try to explain in this particular one by pointing out that she is the one that can see... That Naminé, like, talks through her. Um. But, you know, I'm an A A lot of people have just given up and tried not to fi figure out where Kingdom Hearts is in continuity, but, like I said, I, I think I know. It's somewhere between 7, where the time displacement is supposed to happen, and, like, 9, and, and the fact that if, if they do kill Sora, that would gel almost perfectly with it being in continuity, because Sora, they then could say that this timeline happened outside other times, you know? They could do what they did for Flashpoint. Screw this, you don't want me to see, see me fight these heartless. You want to see me fight the big bad, Captain James T. Hook himself.
Um. Also, I'm really excited about the, the new trailer for Kingdom Hearts. And I could definitely see them fighting off them and fighting off the Heartless in, like, Duckburg. If, if nothing else, for the plane. It would explain what happened to that sticker world at the end of, um, Birth by Sleep. That sticker world was just random. I mean, it was just random. If it wasn't supposed to be Duckburg, or it wasn't supposed to be any of that, what was the sticker world supposed to be? And another good question that got asked in, in the video I'm talking about is what is that book? What is what is um what is the hundred acre wood? I mean how uh, How did it end up where it is? How did it end up in Merlin's position? Possession, what? For that matter, where's Arthur? Is he with Pinello? And because they kind of tried to do King Arthur. I, I, I've kind of talked about this in the Final Fan, in the the one with Pinello and and Ben, um, they kind of tried to do like a King Arthur type deal there. Where's Arthur? I mean, why isn't? I mean, why isn't there Heartless in that movie? Other than the fact that it was made. I mean, there's Merlin, but where's Arthur? Like asking exactly what I asked before. Okay, where's... There's Lilo and Stitch, but where's Nani? If there are Heartless in the Disney movies, why did why did they start putting them in after 2000? I, I, if it's, like I said, to commemorate Walt Disney's death, then, um... I don't know. I might.
Sorry, I've been going the wrong way here, folks. It's been a long time. Okay, that's the definite wrong one. I'm getting my food out of here. Where are my tensions? Sorry, Bob. Hold on one second. Let me get out of your way. I need He's my game. He's video. He's recording himself. Stop looking at all this. Pie and fries for breakfast? Must be Friday. Are you going to let all that food out? No. Are you going to let all that food out? I told her. She's wrong. I mean, I'm fine with her. Ah, so.
Yes, your eyes do not deceive you, that is the secret door card. In this game. Yes, I got it. I know. I'm great. I'm awesome. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You'll see what I mean. How the Peter Pan card really doesn't aid you in the fact that Captain Hook does cheat. And a wonderful example for a kid's a kid's game. It's not a good example. Not at all. Those bastards. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Um, and I also point out how I don't like how they drew, drew Captain Hook, not to say he's a stereotype, because Disney is a, is a kid-friendly corporation, corp, corp, Corporation. Even though they themselves had a problem with me pointing out Heartless in their movies, even though they themselves, I know it. They're good. They're good by nature. You know, I still have faith in Disney. I have faith that. You know, they will, they'll come through. But, but, despite the racist stereotypes and all the stuff they've been accused of, everything, everything will work out in the end. Everything always works out in the end. Um, they will get the rights to Peter Pan back, rest assured. And they will produce a movie like Peter Pan and the Scarlet. And I'm sure if they made it modern day, which they will, it won't, they won't focus that much on, it won't be like who, who makes the red man red. It, it won't, there won't be that many racist stereotypes and, and inside jokes. Just like I have faith I will be this bad guy. Just like I beat Lark Scene, I will beat them.
Maybe not this take, but I will. I will be there. And you, my audience, will be there watching me. Got to. Yeah. I'll watch, I'm gonna kick this guy's ass. Hey! That's what Neverland's all about. Let's see ya. Yes, Del. You push the couch back, please. Are you done? Huh? No, not yet. Alright. Did you push the couch back, please? If I do that, the remote's gonna unplug if I do it any further. Okay? Is that good? Oh, you want it all back?
Yeah, no. I'm sorry. Sometimes when I'm in a good mood, I, I want that book, and other times, as you all know, I don't. If you could see the unseen, then you'd be seen, you know? And we'd all be seen. And there wouldn't be so many little channels here on YouTube. Sometimes my friends depress me enough where I too think about running away and joining the circus. But 
the funny thing about Corvallo and douchebags like that. You know, Two Face Harvey and the Ringmaster, they need an audience to perform for. Without that, they are nothing. There's always another page of the contract. Always a loophole. There's always something. You can't let them win, though. You gotta believe, you gotta have faith that that other people will see what happens and you know, I've had ideas about what the Keyblade War should look like and that, but If you can't get past the Keyblade Graveyard, you know, how are you expecting to expecting to actually pick up your Keyblade and become a new character? I mean, I, I heard this, I remember way back in the day, there was a suggestion of it being an online game. You know, and I, I know, I, I tend to agree with the camp that says that if they do have an online feature in the new game, granted, I personally haven't gotten to the part where it does cover Michael's daughter, but I I know that she had he had one. He had two daughters. Two daughters, a son, and a two daughters, a son and a wife. I mean, yeah, he had all those. He went, he would have went here, there, you know. I, I like it because I like Peter Pan and the Scarlet because it introduces the concept of a cult because everybody knows that being like a grown up is kind of like button up, butting, button, but, buttoning up your coat and having to face the day and that's what happens to Peter when he puts on the coat.
And even when I'm angry, I, I maintain, I love that concept of the coat. Just the whole concept that it wasn't Captain Hook that was generally evil. It was the items that he obtained. It's the sword, the, um... Damn. How to explain this? I can't fucking explain it. See, and now I have to hope that I'll edit it together all nice, which, you know, I don't, I still don't have my, you know, I don't know. I refuse to I refuse to ruin the concept of the circus. Because yes So many people have done that though. And if you're watching this and you understand how I feel about Neverland and how the Lost Boys are truly underappreciated characters. When you watch my last video, you, you already know. what I'm saying. that there's always a way out of the circus.
you already know that I wasn't I wasn't a big fan of keeping the Keyblade War secret. You know, I wasn't a big fan. And where there where there are where there is war, there are soldiers. And how they can expect there to be a Keyblade War without actually having sides, I don't know. I mean, Coraline addressed what I'm talking about perfectly. The, the ringmaster. <laughs> yeah. Done? Yeah, I guess. Let's see. Let's see how far I got on the video. But 